is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on understanding your router. On this segment, we're going to look at the SSID. This is a term that's often confusing to newer users. It stands for Service Set Identifier, which is a convoluted way of saying friendly name for network. So here we are, back in the router settings, under wireless, basic wireless settings, once again, this is a Linksys router, but if you have a different router brand, you're still going to have similar areas in your router configuration, wireless, security, status, and so on. So here, we're looking in this area, basic wireless settings, and here, wireless network name, SSID. And here's where you can put it in. Now, mine is Kalanet. Many people use their last name or some made-up name that appeals to them. It can be up to 30 characters long. It can be basically anything you want it to be. It's a way for you to identify your network, which is very helpful when connecting other computers or other devices to your network. But there are a few things that you don't want your SSID to be, and that is the default. So for example, you have a Netgear router and it comes and it has a default SSID of Netgear. That you want to change. You don't want to leave it be a default Intel, Linksys, D-Link. You don't want your SSID to be a default setting because that makes it more vulnerable to anyone who might want to attack your network. So if you do nothing else, change the SSID to something that is not the default. Now here is wireless SSID broadcast, enable or disable. A note here, many people believe that if they disable the broadcast that it's a security benefit. In point of fact, it really isn't true. Anyone who knows even a little bit about a network can sniff out your SSID and find your network just the same. So this is the SSID, the friendly name for your network. Pick a nice one, helps you find it. Don't worry about trying to hide the SSID broadcast. Rather, have good security on your network, which we'll talk about in a later segment. Remember, this is a part of a 10-part series on understanding your router. Please check for the other parts.